One winter evening, Henry's driver said, We'll be out super fucking early tomorrow. We've got to take the flying kipper. Don't tell Gordon, but I think if we pull the kipper like a horny dolphin, the fat ass will let us pull the big boopin' dick express. That Greek call is working extremely well. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm so fucking gay. And, uh, like, fabulous. Yes, Henry is being very gay. All kinds of ships use the harbor at the big fucking station by the sea. There are sex slave ships, drug ships, and fishing boats also come here. They unload their fish on the quay and divide them. One batch for eating and the other for fucking and eating. The ones for eating go to shops in the town. And the ones meant to be fucked and eaten go on a special train to other places far away where humanity is defaced regularly. This is the train the railway men called the Flying Kipper. Oh my god, it's so fucking early! Henry was ready at 6 a.m. There was snow and frost. Men hustled and insulted new guys that were fucking up. No! This one goes there, that one goes there! Get it right, you idiot! The new guy just stood there in shock and didn't do anything. The last door banged, the guard showed his green lamp, the flying kipper was ready to go. Dude! You know you're fired, right? It didn't get on the fucking train! Now be useless somewhere else! Poor Chinese man. Too bad he didn't know English. So fabulous! Fabulous! So fucking fabulous! Said gay-ass Henry. Clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and the fire's light shone brightly. Harry, Harry, Harry! panted Henry. They were super fucking awesome! The light grew better. A signal light shone green as they passed. Then, a yellow signal appeared ahead. His driver prepared to stop. The home signal was down. All's clear, Henry. Away we go! They didn't know that the switches from the main line to a siding were frozen, and a home signal should have been set to danger, but the snow had forced it down. A freight train was waiting in a siding to let the flying kipper pass, and a driver and fireman were drinking their own semen in the caboose. It's about fucking time the kipper came here. Who gives a shit? This is great semen. The driver got up. I bet my semen tastes better than yours! Come right now so that we can taste it. Get out of my way! Fuck! Fuck! Everyone in the caboose was fortunately killed. Henry felt as if he had extreme gonorrhea. Sir Topham Hatt came to see him. The signal was down, sir, said Henry. Well, you should have known it was opposite day. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Ice and snow caused the crash. I'm sending you to a camp, a fine place for sick engines. They'll give you your new shape and a larger firebox. You'll feel a different engine, and you won't need special coal anymore. Also, I've conducted research on smaller fireboxes. The smaller the firebox, the gayer the engine. The reason why you're gay is because your model was built with an abnormally small firebox. So with a bigger firebox, you won't be gay as fuck anymore! Wouldn't that be nice? It's not like you have a choice. The camp whooped him into shape, and he was glad to come home. He still had his gay lisp, but he was more on the bisexual side now, leaning slightly more towards straight. A crowd of people waited to see him arrive in his new shape. He looked so sexy and powerful that they gave him three cum squirts. Beep, beep! He whistled. Fuck yeah! I'm sorry to say that a lot of little children are often late for school, because they pee on him as he goes by since they haven't hit puberty yet. They often see him pulling the Big Boopin' Dick Express. 
He does it so well that Gordon is fucking jealous. But that's another story.